Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Um, it's been a while. I'm back. Um, I'm gonna hopefully be uploading videos more often. I know I've said this like a thousand times, but I actually hope it's true. Um, my channel is going to be completely shifted over to beauty now. Um, if you guys were here for dolls and toys, I'm sorry that I won't be doing that anymore, but please enjoy my old videos. Um, I still love dolls and toys, but, um, you know, as a hobby, you run out of space with that, with toys and stuff, money, there isn't stuff coming up that I'm super in love with. I think I've just kind of, like, moved on with it, even though I still love it, that kind of deal. Anyways, um, my other great love in my life is makeup. I've always loved it. So, uh, to kick off our videos back on this channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a monthly favorites vid uh, for the month of June and this is just some of my favorite stuff that I picked up. Maybe not necessarily this month but I've been using this month um, which you can see a lot of on my Instagram which is at 2 trendy for life so go ahead and go over there and follow me on that. If you're new to my channel, hello, please subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you think. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, let's start. Here are my monthly favorites for the month of June 2017. So first up, I'm going to do um, my, like a product for hair care that I actually just bought uh, from my work. It is, we carry Kevin Murphy and Redken at my salon and a couple other brands, but the main one is Kevin Murphy and Redken. And Kevin Murphy has just come out with this, at least at our salon. Anyways, it is Bedroom Hair by Kevin Murphy. It is a flexible texturizing hairspray. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's, if you guys use Kevin Murphy and you've used their product called Do Over, this is kind of like an in-between this and their session uh, here's uh, maybe a little bit less than that, but it's like a flexible texturizing hairspray. I can't remember if I just said that. You shake it up, you lift, you spray, it gives you nice texture. Um, that kind of thing. Um, I really like the stuff. It smells good. I'm not like a huge fan of some of the smells from Kevin Murphy, so I actually really like the smell of that one. And um, it's just like not as sticky and like as um, do-over. It definitely leaves a residue on your hands, which I'm not about because you have to wash your hands after. But um, overall, I really like it. Um, I love like waking up the next day with it in my hair and like the texture of it and it feels like it's really full and like volumized and just like it's, it's nice to be able to just kind of like run your hands through it and like you're good to go. So yeah, there's that. Um, next, um, hold on, I gotta go get it. Alright, so next is this. Okay, the lighting, we may have to like fix this, but um, it's the Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer. Um, it's really cool because when you use it, um, it comes out as a cream, and then when you rub it in your hands and put it on your face, little water droplets form. It's amazing, but it works really well. Um, it's supposed to brighten and dull lackluster skin. I definitely do notice that. Um, it's really moisturizing. It's awesome. You don't need a lot of it. It is expensive, but it's worth it. I've had this for quite a while, and I use it every day. It's like sometimes several times a day. So this is definitely like one of my favorite things that I've been using last month. Um, what's next? This Soap and Glory, um, Peaches and Cream Deep Cleansing Milk, um, it says that it's 4-in-1. It says that you can use this just as your cleanser alone. I wouldn't really do that. I use this to take off my makeup after I've done, um, like taking photos and stuff for um, my Instagram and I put it on, I leave it on for like a couple minutes and just kind of like really let it sit there on top of my makeup and then I wipe it away and it comes off really easily. 
You do definitely need to do a, a second cleanse, I've noticed. Maybe it's just because I have so much makeup on that it's, you know, it kind of feels like you have some stuff left over on your skin. But, um, yeah, I feel like you definitely do need to cleanse after this. I used it on some of my foundation brushes and things that had, like, I've used really heavy cream products on. And it, after a couple, like, um, go-throughs with it, it made my brushes, like, brand new. I don't know if it's the best thing for your brushes, but it really works. So, I definitely really like this. That are these, uh, Pond's Makeup Cleansers. Uh, these are the original fresh ones, and um, there's 28 in the packet. I love these. They, my mom had them in her drawer, and I went and stole some to take some makeup off one night, and they are amazing. I love them. You barely have to like swipe over your face, and it comes right off. They do dry out kind of fast, which I'm not crazy about, but I mean, these are awesome. Um, they're like 10 bucks, so I don't know if that's like super expensive or not, but they don't burn my skin. I've had, I've bought some cheaper ones and like I touch them to my skin and my skin just feels like it's on fire. So it's really good for like more sensitive skin I found. So yeah, I love these. I just repurchased them actually. Um, what else? Um, tools. So this NYX Duo Fiber Brush, I bought this a while ago. And uh, the thing that I really like about it is that um, this part, the white <laughs> bristles aren't as long as like, say this one from Mac. So I find that I'm able to like kind of move product around a little bit easier and it like spreads it out really nicely. Um, which I seem to have like a bit of an issue with this one, but, um, yeah. So I really like this. I like the handle of it. Um, it's like, it feels really like sturdy and it doesn't feel cheap. Um, I think it was like, like maybe like 15 or $16. I can't remember. I bought it a while ago and I just started using it. So, um, yeah, I really love this. Next is this brush that I got in the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, modern Renaissance palette. And it's like this little brush on one side and then like a fluffy blending, blending brush on the other. This thing is so good. I love using it. I use it for basically like everything that on my eyes, like all the time. These two things, that's all you need really. It's, it's perfect. Um, it picks up product really well. It blends it out with like zero effort and having to do it. And it's like nice and small. The only thing that I don't like about double ended brushes is that, um, you know, when you're washing them or you're storing them, one side is always going to be like pressing down that kind of thing. If you're, if you store them like that. Um, but yeah, that's the only downside to this. Everything like the actual like use or the brushes are great and I love them. Um, then I also picked up this, um, sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> there we go. I got this, Pro Brow Comb from Sephora, and it's metal, has a metal lash comb on it, and I'm using it for my eyebrows, and honestly, the first time that I covered my brows with using this to comb it up, it was like completely different, and it worked perfectly fine. So if you're someone that is into like drag makeup or covering your eyebrows for like stage makeup or that kind of thing, or cosplay or anything like that, I would recommend just going out and getting one of these and it's gonna completely change how you cover your brows because it's so much stronger and um, just, it's less effort. And I think it was like, maybe like 15 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that, maybe a little bit less, I can't remember, but I love this and I definitely recommend picking one up. Uh, this set of lashes from MAC, uh, the 36s, they're nice. Uh, they're just like really nice, wispy, still full. Um, they look really pretty on. Yeah, they, they're not like crazy or anything, but like they're nice. So I really love those. Um, this Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in blonde it's two-ended there's the pencil i'm not like a huge fan of like the per the ones that like roll up i just i don't like them i like the pencil and like getting it really sharp 
And then it also has like the nice spoolie on the other end. Um, that's, you know, it's a little bit rough, but <laughs> I'm just like really soft, I guess. So yeah, I really like that. It matches my brows well. There is no warmth in this. I've tried finding a pencil that is not warm for my eyebrows. I keep getting ones that are like warm. This one from, I know it's like a drugstore one, but I asked the girl specifically if there was warmth in it because they didn't have a tester. And I went with her saying like, no, there's no warmth in this. It'll be like um, really good, but it's definitely like a warm brown and not like a blondy taupe cool ashy color so i was kind of disappointed with that this one is definitely that and i really like it um it's good for like sketching out your brows uh filling them in and then going over with like a dip brow that kind of thing it's great i love it um this nyx uh, matte lipstick in the color couture which is just like a really pretty um pink it's like a really pretty pink color i don't know if it's going to show up or not it's not showing up. But if you look on my Instagram and see photos where I have like a pinker lip, I'm definitely probably wearing this uh, or like a combination of this. It's just like a really nice like rosy pink peach color, like all of those things combined, but yeah. And then my last two things, I am very late to the party on this, but uh, the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I love this thing. The shadows are really nice. Nice. They don't like crumble. There isn't a lot of fallout that I've experienced. They blend really easily. Um, the colors are just really nice and easy to work with. Um, yeah, I really like this. There we go. You can kind of see it now in my mouth underneath. And last but not least, I was obsessed with this thing for so long and I finally got it around Christmas when it was released. I bought it the day that it came out um, and I did not use it until the beginning of June. Um, it is the Sweet Peach palette. Um, this is like such a versatile palette. I find it's great for just like everyday use. Um, yeah, I love it. I love all the colors. It's really cute. It smells really good. Um, but yeah. They don't blend as like easily as the modern renaissance palette, but it's still a really nice palette and it's worth it I think if you were just gonna go buy a palette This would be a good one to have and there's so many different colors in it That it's definitely I think worth the money to own if you're gonna go and like buy a Pricier makeup palette instead of a drugstore one and you could just have this for quite a while I think it would be good anyways, that is my monthly favorites um Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, go follow me on Instagram at 220 for life. I post there frequently. And yeah, it was really fun making this and I hope I see you guys again soon. Bye.